Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Well, it is finally here. We have been waiting for so long for a Star Trek Strange New Worlds trailer and it is finally with us. So much Star Trek on the moment. Picard's on tonight, Discovery, Strange New Worlds, it's, it's going off. So what I'm going to do today is take a look through our uh, new Strange New Worlds teaser trailer, uh, look at it shot by shot, see what we can learn about the new show, and, uh, and also we're also, also going to have a look at some uh, the Strange New Worlds costumes in a bit more detail at the end of this video as well, so make sure you stick around for that. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to Cyphernetics, please do so. I'm churning out almost a video every day or two these days. There's so much going on. So uh, make sure you click on that big red button to stay up to date with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. So let's get into it and take a look at this new Star Trek Strange New Worlds teaser trailer. So I'm guessing our trailer opens here in somewhere maybe sort of around Colorado perhaps. We've got wind turbines there, we've got uh, snow-covered mountains, uh, we've got a cabin uh, or a farm in the woods where obviously where Pike goes uh, as a bit of a retreat to ride his horses and so forth. Uh, and it's good to see we've got an old-style communicator here. Juxt the juxtaposition of the old 1960s telephone in the background and we've got the, the Star Trek original series uh, communicator there, a uh, on the uh, on the on the counter it's good to see that they kind of kept uh, the uh, the stylings the same for those I thought they might have sort of tried to update them a little bit or whatever uh, but they look pretty pretty close to the originals Chris I need you back captain no matter how many stars there are in the sky no matter how many galaxies swirl. So it looks like Captain Pike has been hanging out in his cabin uh, or farm in the in the woods uh, for quite some time. His hair's grown a bit. He's, he's got the big old beard going on there. And it looks like he's sort of, you know, been here having a bit of... Uh, R&R, &R, riding horses around his farm or whatever with the big wind turbines in the background. And he's being called back into service for Starfleet. Oh, I'm guessing this series takes place after our uh, season two of Discovery. And maybe there's been a little bit of a relaxation period there for Pike uh, post season two of Discovery. Also good to see our original series shuttlecraft. It looks pretty close to that Galileo style shuttlecraft we saw back in original series. So the stylings are really, really similar. They haven't kind of gone too far beyond what we saw in the originals. The actual design styles have remained the same, which looks great. Beyond our own. No matter what the mathematical probabilities or the number of times we say, we are not alone in the universe. Our first visit from the stars. Some of the design stylings for the planets and so forth that they're going to be visiting on Strange New Worlds just look glorious. Uh, I, I kind of remember back in the day with original series, they did some nice matte paintings and so forth for various different locations, um, but they've really gone above and beyond. I think that was one other thing I, I noticed about Prodigy is they did some really beautiful looking um, vistas and alien planets and so forth, and they seem to have continued that theme in Strange New Worlds in terms of the alien planets with you know buildings and skyscrapes and you know, glorious landscape vistas. Just look, just look stunning. Looks like we've got a bare-chested Spock here standing on a mountaintop looking over some alien planet. I'm not. Doesn't look like. Vulcan he's standing on here. It looks uh, like another planet because um, obviously Vulcan, historically speaking, tends to be quite dry, mountainous, deserty environment, whereas this seems like he's standing across an ocean looking out towards um, some city there. So Spock clearly gets his shirt off <laughs> in Strange New Worlds. I think they've done a great job with the look of the transporter effect in Strange New Worlds. It, to me, it looks like a cross between the original series transporter effect and the next generation transporter effect. They've taken the staticky, sparkly look from original series, which was always kind of yellow or gold, but they've taken the the um, the actual sort of shower curtain effect uh, that they use for next generation uh, and sort of overlaid the two 
uh, effects in this uh, new transporter style, which I think is kind of the best of both worlds, cross between the two, you know, and they've kept it, they've kept the transporter effect, uh, a yellowy goldy kind of color, which so it's consistent with the original series, but just uh, given it that little bit of extra uh, zhuzh <laughs> of the, the next generation had with the whole sort of shower curtain thing with the vertical beams that um, incorporate into the transporter effect as well. It's always the province of children's stories and science fiction. Until one day, it isn't. The scope and scale and grandeur of the planets that they're going to be visiting in Strange New Worlds looks gigantic. In the past, obviously, the original series, we had that set they tended to use, which I think they nicknamed uh, Planet Hell or whatever, or certainly in the case of Next Generation, where it was essentially just a very small studio with a light cast up a back wall of a um, studio cyclorama and they had a couple of paper mache rocks uh, with a bit of dirt on the ground, you know. And I went there so often um, that it's sort of like, oh God, this location again. But this scale of these locations, the look is just, it's epic. I think the name of the show just says it all. We're going to be going to strange new worlds. It's 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 all about the away mission to the to the huge alien planet sort of thing, you know, the planet of the week. We're not going to be just stuck on board the Enterprise all of the time. We're going to be getting out there and uh, and seeking out new life and new civilizations. So it, it it's going to look great, I think. It, these these images from this teaser trailer uh, just lifted the bar on Star Trek Vistas an extra notch, I think. Love the look of the Enterprise here. They've kept it pretty much the same as how it appeared in Discovery Season Two, which. I think everyone agreed looked great. I don't mind the new uniforms. I think Pike tends to wear his, his black t-shirt a little low from what I've seen in images in the past. Probably would have liked that black t-shirt to look a, a little higher up, I think. So it was, it became more of a collar. Uh, I think it tends to sink down a little bit from, <laughs> from what I've seen in some of the promo shots here. And we'll have a look at the, uh, the uniforms in more detail in a sec uh, and give you an example of that. And interesting to note that at the end of the trailer here, we hear the original series theme music playing. So I wonder whether this means, are we gonna have the Star Trek original series theme music as the theme for Strange New Worlds? Or are they just kind of gonna blend it into the um, the theme somehow? I'm not sure, but it, it kind of leads me to believe maybe they're using the original series uh, theme as part of the Strange New Worlds theme, which look, I'd. I don't mind. I think I think it's it's a it's a nice piece of music. I think it's hopeful and positive and lifting. It has a nice vibe to it. So now we're going to have a quick closer look at some of the uh, the uniforms for Strange New Worlds at the Star Trek cruise. Uh, they had them on display for Pike and uh, Number One and uh, and Spock and Uhura their costumes. So let's have a quick look at a couple of these photos for their uniforms. There's a lot of detail put into these uniforms. They look great. I think the the way they've incorporated the um, the divisional logos emblems through the shoulder and arms. I think look really good. I think the Starfleet insignias look 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 great on the uniforms. I think they're uh, close enough to the original series to to be consistent with uh, what we're leading into. I think it's a good thing that they dropped those gigantic big black collars that they had on their uniforms in Discovery. I think they were always a little bit awkward or something. They just sort of seemed like they'd been in a car accident and were wearing a, a neck brace or something like that. Um, so I think it's good that they dropped them. Although I think the V-neck on the uniforms, I think it might have even worked a little bit better if the actual V-neck on the uh, uniforms had have been black rather than um, the color of the, the whole uh, uniform. I think that might have probably tied into the black uh, t-shirt, undershirt that they've got on there as well. But that's just my my point of view. Um, but let me know what you guys thought of not only the teaser for Star Trek Strange New Worlds, but also your thoughts on the new costumes that we're going to see in the series as well. Guys, as always, please leave a super thanks if you're able to. It really helps the channel out. I'm churning out videos every other day these uh, these days, so there's a lot of work going into the channel. Uh, like and comment if you, if you can't do that. Please share with your friends. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and check out my merch in the merch store. We can pick up heaps of cool Star Trek flavoured merchandise t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, caps, all that sort of thing. Help support the channel, get yourself a good bargain, and I'll catch you guys very soon for my next video. I'll see you soon.